In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people. Today is Friday, the 13th of November, 2020. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second letter of St. John, chapter 1, verses 4 to 9. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 26 to 37. I read from the first reading. It has given me great joy to find that children of yours have been living the life of truth as we were commanded by the Father. And now I am asking you, dear lady, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but only the one which we have had from the beginning, that we should love one another. To love is to live according to his commandments. This is the commandment which you have heard since the beginning, to live a life of love. There are many deceivers at large in the world refusing to acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in human nature. They are the deceiver. They are the antichrist. Watch yourselves or all our work will be lost and you will forfeit your full reward. If anybody does not remain in the teaching of Christ but goes beyond it, he does not have God with him. Only those who remain in what he taught can have the Father and the Son with them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us fight the Antichrist that is in us. Let us fight the Antichrist that is in us. Beloved of God, in St. John's second letter, he talks about this common description or word, the Antichrist. Who is the Antichrist? Often, when we talk about the Antichrist, the beast and the mark of the beast always come to mind, and many refer to the devil or Satan. In the book of Revelation, we read about the beast and the mark of the beast. That beast is often referred to as the Antichrist, who is prophesied by the Bible to appear before the second coming of Christ, to oppose Christ and substitute himself in Christ's place. It is a horrific creature and comes to destroy 
described as the false prophet. Confer Revelation chapter 11 verse 7, Revelation chapter 13 verses 1 to 18, and Revelation chapter 17 verses 7 to 18. We have heard some people even say such foolish things of the Pope as having the mark of the beast and therefore is the Antichrist. But this is simply because they lack understanding. Now, we hear of the coming of the Antichrist and people think it is that demonic beast who will appear to destroy God's elect. The word Antichrist is mentioned five times in the New Testament solely in the first and second letters of St. John. But there is more to it, dear friends. St. John explains that the Antichrist is anyone who is against the truth. Anyone who does not love and anyone who acts contrary to God, who deceives others to leave the path of truth and who teaches false doctrine. From this, therefore, you may be the Antichrist and I may be the Antichrist. Antichrist means against or contrary to Christ. We hear of anti-COVID measures, that is, measures that are put in place to fight COVID-19. We hear of anti-gang. These are vigilante groups against gangs, armed bandits and troublemakers of the neighborhood to track them down. So anti-Christ means against Christ, anything that is contrary or that fights Christ. If you give people bad advice to act contrary to their faith and contrary to God, then you are an antichrist. You are against Christ. If you go contrary to God's commandments, then you are antichrist. You are against Christ. If you fail to love your neighbor, if you fail to forgive, in fact, anything you do contrary to Christ makes you an antichrist. Dear friends, we have to be on guard. There are many so-called churches and pastors who claim to preach the message of Christ, but in truth, they are anti-Christ. We have seen pastors and churches on social media who do all sorts of things in the name of anointing, breakthrough and miracles. Others preach false doctrine and some preach half-truth and any half-truth or misconnected facts are no truth. Therefore, dear friends in Christ, the Antichrist is sin because sin is against Christ and sin is such an ugly thing. It is that ugly creature that destroys us. If you do not want to associate with the Antichrist, then avoid sin. The Antichrist is that bad friend you have. The Antichrist is that evil place you go to. The Antichrist are those devilish things you do that are contrary to your faith. The Antichrist are those sins that we commit that go contrary to God's commandments. You can now begin to understand why the world is what it is. We have millions of Antichrists living with us and we may even be one. To begin combating the Antichrist that is in us and in the world, we must begin combating sin. St. John wants us that we should guard against being deceived and guard against falling into the traps of the Antichrist so that all what we have learned and received may not be lost. Dear friends, there are many persons who want to derail us from our faith. There are many persons who want to pull us away, who teach us false doctrine and even deceive us to have the message of salvation, but in reality, they are pulling us away. They are Antichrist. Let us pray today, therefore, first of all, and tell God we are sorry for those many times in our lives when we have acted like the Antichrist, when we gave bad advice to our friends, when we did not live up to our faith, when we were not witnesses of Christ, when we feared to stand for Christ and to defend the faith, for those many times when we committed sin. In those times, we acted Antichrist. Let us tell God we are sincerely sorry and make the firm resolve today to stand for Christ, to be pro-Christ, to defend the faith, to give good advice, to always stand for the truth, and above all, always to fight sin. Dear God, 
help us to fight the Antichrist that is in us and in the world. As you go about your activities today, do not be an Antichrist. Rather, be a pro-Christ. Stand for Christ in what you say and in what you do. Amen. Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.